We begin with a bloody attack on a pair of elderly men. A third man has minor injuries. Video making the rounds on social media shows a group of teenagers attacking the men Wednesday afternoon. Police say it happened in an alley near First and National. Witnesses say the teens are all students at nearby Bradley Tech High School. We're now learning more about two of the victims attacked, Freddie Vega and Jesse Andino, an uncle and nephew, best friends and longtime residents of Milwaukee's Walkers Point neighborhood. Orion Jenkins live at Bradley Tech where some protesters just wrapped up a demonstration. Ryan, they're calling for answers, accountability and justice. Uh, first up, has the school district acknowledged the attack involving its students? Steve, yes, MPS says they are aware of the incident, but they are saying they're very quick to point out that this did not happen on school district property. As for that protest that you mentioned a short time ago, I'm told that was a chance for neighbors and family members who know and love these victims to come together and make sure that accountability is upheld from MPS and MPD. Whoa. It's a video that's been shared thousands of times on social media. A mob of teenagers attacking two men in an alley in Milwaukee's Walkers Point neighborhood. The video, so graphic, we pause it at one point when you can see one of the two men attacked on the ground, bloodied. My father's the one in the white, my uncle's the other guy. He got the worst of it because he fell. My uncle's still running. I watched the video with Felipe Martinez, who owns a barber shop in the community. He's alarmed, telling me it's his dad and uncle who were attacked. Kids were jumping on the cars or something like that, and my uncle then intervened to get them to move around and move away from it. Um, and that's when they kind of ganged up on the two. Felipe says both his dad and uncle were rushed to a hospital. They grew up together, they're best friends. His dad, Freddie Vega, taking the worst of the beating, while his uncle, Jesse Andino, was injured too. Just know that he's not really in good shape. The only good thing about it is that he didn't have to have surgery. So that was their fear. As they recover now, Felipe and his family are focused on accountability, saying the community, including police, must focus on solutions. They're concerned about retaliation versus a solution. Working to ensure these two neighbors see justice served. So holding people accountable and ensuring safety because every community speaks on it, but there's, there's nothing happening until it's their relative or person that something negative happens, that's the only time people care. And tonight, police say two 14-year-olds and a 15-year-old suspect have been arrested. They're still searching for additional suspects. We've learned that each of the suspects is facing a felony aggravated assault charge. And we also have a statement from the Milwaukee Police Department tonight. They say that this behavior is not just unacceptable, it is inhumane. And they also add that violence is never an appropriate conflict resolution. Reporting live in Walker's Point near Bradley Tech High School, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Ryan, thank you. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson also weighing in on this, calling for school resource officers. Years ago, the district voted to end its contract with Milwaukee police. They're now required to have SROs under state law. They were supposed to be on the job at the beginning of this year. MPS still does not have police officers assigned to its schools. Mayor Johnson releasing a statement saying, quote, it is also well past time for the restoration of police officers at schools. I ask MPS to address this with urgency. We have a number of crews working this story. Look for updates on air at TMJ4.com and also through our streaming platforms.